Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build the social media post across different platforms for the Toastmasters clubs. For many Toastmasters clubs, they have a variety of social media platforms, typically our free Toastcode website. And on top of that, they would have some other social media such as Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, TikTok, etc., etc. So once they build one post at one specific platform, do they have to go through all the process, typing the words, building the photos at other platform? Especially, can you? transfer a social media platform back into our free Toastos website? The answer is yes. It's got to save you a lot of time and also keep a uniformity of your social media because all the posts are coming from one single post. So let's dive in. Here we have this free Toastos website for this club and I'm the admin of this website. And here is the home page. We come down here. I have to make a mark here where I'm planning on inserting a Facebook post right here. The journey has begun. So here, meaning well, this club has got another social media platform, which is Facebook. Here at its Facebook page, it has got this post to celebrate the chartering of this club with all these chartering members listed here with a nicely designed post. So you already have everything here at this Facebook page. When you want to build something similar at the free post, post website, do you have to go through all those design process? Again, no, you don't have to. You can import this post from the Facebook. How to do that? Let me show you. Here at this Facebook post, come to upper right hand side and you have a list of options about uh, what you can do with this post. Scrolling down this option list, you can see this. There is an embed icon. Get in there, and you can see it generates a simple embed HTML code here. And call, click copy code right here. So now you have a simple coding script of this post where you can embed to many other website platform, of course, including Free Toastcode's website. Let's come here. Now we are at this home page of Free Toastcode. Home page, I am the admin, so I can edit this page right here. Click the, the pen, editing pen. Now I am at the editing page of the home page. Scrolling down, here you found the mark here. This is where we are supposed to insert this Facebook page. Now you need a little bit of knowledge of the embedded coding. It's not complicated. What you can do is, what's nice about Free Toastcode's website technology is it also provides the source of coding will allow you to make some basic editing at the code. So here you have this source code. You click the left upper side. There is one button called the source. And then you come down to the HTML coding page. 
and scrolling down, looking carefully, you will see this mark where you see the journey has begun. You quickly come down here. See, we we can see this right here. Okay, so you are supposed to embed this iframe, so called defined by this code, into this position. What you do is you find this script line between these two P and delete them and then paste what you have got about this Facebook post right here. And then get this the editing page back to the regular size and save it. Close it, and then this page will be automatically refresh. Scrolling down, see what happens. Here you see, boom, it's right here. This is how you use one post across different social media platform. What happens with these YouTube videos then? Many clubs have got their own YouTube channel where they put in the meeting recordings and the speech videos over there. Can they transfer those videos right here at free toast host website? Yes, it's possible. The steps are basically same as how you transfer a Facebook post over to free toast host website. Only some details are slightly different. Here is our clubs YouTube channel, you get to the manage video button and right here you get to the list of each individual videos and then you choose one of the video and go click the, the three dots at the right hand side right here. And you have a list of options where you can do something about this video. Here you click get sharing shareable link right here. And then you go back to your free toast website. And as far as you are an admin, you can edit a specific page right here. And then wherever you want to input this video and you can click right here and you find the, all those op operational buttons of this identity page at the top of this page. You screw down all these buttons, you will find the one YouTube icon click this icon there and you will see a couple of functions right here you paste this link which you just got right here and then you click ok see it's right there and uh, then you can edit through this iframe function, the size, the position, etc., etc. This is something different because YouTube video link doesn't automatically generate a code for the iframe. You have to send this link and through that input window, and it goes back to the server, the server of Fritos host website will return to the page with a specific design code. That is how you generate the YouTube video. But here, if you have noticed, next to the YouTube icon, there's also 
an iframe button, and you thought uh, you can get an iframe button for your free for your the Facebook post. My answer is, don't do that. You go to the source, get to the a little bit of coding script and change the code. That's the easiest way. Because from my practice, I can see when the post and the Facebook post, those coding goes to the server. When the server re returns with some script, there is something wrong in the writing. So that can mess up with your home page. Don't do that because a Facebook page already generate the code for the iframe. You use that iframe code at the sourcing page directly. That is the easiest way to get the post transferred and all meaning well to avoid some potential mistakes. I hope that helps. Thank you.